Hello all and welcome back to another Stratus video. In this video, we're going to embark on an endeavor that no one in the history of the world has tried before. And that endeavor is putting a million OTTs on a single sample. You heard me right. One million. The big milli. Um, this isn't a joke. This isn't clickbait. Uh, by the end of the video, you will hear a sample that has had a million OTTs put on it. Um, so... Make sure you stay tuned to that and make sure you drop a like because goddamn, this video took a long time. Mostly because of all the crashes and how slow my computer was uh, acting by the end of this. But anyways, uh, I'm going to do a little explanation on, on the technique that I used to put a million OTTs on this. Because you're probably asking, how the fuck did you put a million OTTs on something? Uh, your program's going to crash if, if you put more than a couple thousand. And lucky for me, I did the calculations and at any point, any given point... Uh, there's only about 2,744 OTTs open at once, uh, but there are a million uh, signals being passed through those OTTs. And that's basically done by taking a mixing track like this, and then say I put this into 10 other mixing tracks, so we go up to the 11, right? So, and I put, let's say I put 10 OTTs on here. I fill this all up. I open up uh, this right here, right? 10 OTTs. And then I put 10 OTTs on every single one of these, all the way up until 11. So we have 10 OTTs going into 10 OTTs going into 10 OTTs. Okay, so that means that right here we basically have 10 going into 10 more. That's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, right? But the, wait, there's more. I can take the second mixing track and put it in the third, fourth, fifth, all the way up into the 11th, right? So by repeating this process... I basically find that I can only I only have to use a hundred OTTs to get the effect of having more than that. Without further ado, let me show you a little time lapse of um, me doing all the hard work. All right, so we're in the time lapse here, and you can see I'm putting my computer science skills to work here, writing in a little algorithm that will eventually become obsolete because I soon figure out that this algorithm is actually a concept that we learned in our computer science class that can be modeled by a simple equation. Um, this algorithm is just meant to basically um, compute how many comparisons there are, and um, that's important because um, the amount of comparisons is relative to uh, the linkage of all the mixing tracks, and uh, you'll soon see me use patchers instead of mixing tracks and linking patchers into other patchers, etc, etc to have over a million comparisons while keeping the number of OTTs actually in memory under around 3,000. So that's really useful because we get the effect of over a million OTTs without actually using a million OTTs. Um, and if I were to do it otherwise and just link one OTT into one OTT uh, consecutively, then this project would take uh, a drastic amount of time and I probably wouldn't be doing it because um, at maximum FL Studio can only support like 2,000 OTTs at once. And going up by increments of 2,000 uh, to a million is painstakingly hard and not something I wanted to do. So instead we're going to use this, this useful technique um, by uh, using basically a quadratic uh, way to um, calculate how many OTTs you are getting the effect of. And here you see me uh, linking the OTTs into each other here, and I think this is about 15. I could be wrong. Uh, I forget. I did the calculations, so it should um, equal at the end of it uh, just, just over about a million OTTs, or having effectively a million OTTs without uh, using a million OTTs. Um, and so I think here I'm seeing, okay, if I save this as a patcher, can I open up the same patcher inside this patcher? And that is a dumb idea because why would that work? Uh, and instead what I do is make a another patcher full of patchers, which are um, just the same version of the original one. So. Uh, that will just basically change the amount of comparisons by a factor of 100 because now each time I do a comparison here um, Or 
I, I'm using the word comparison and like linking interchangeably. So uh, you can just imagine them um, as the same word. Uh, but basically that changes the, the, the factor by 100. So now I can actually multiply it by a coefficient uh, relative to however many comparison is doing in the previous patcher. So that being said, now if I do it another 14 times, I can get up to around 10k because 100 times 100 is around 10,000. So by doing this again with another 14 or 15 patchers, um, yeah, I'm gonna be able to get up to around 10,000 comparisons. And then uh, my, my goal was to do this a third time by using these patchers that have uh, exactly 9,555 comparisons. And I was gonna do this another 15 times or so to get up to a million. However, you'll see that uh, FL Studio crashes when I have more than seven open at a time. So I had to make do with only using seven. And if you do the calculation, seven will only give you um, around 200,000 comparisons or effectively 200,000 OTTs. You can see here like uh, the patches are spawning in without uh, having any links to them. And I think that's just probably an issue with my memory. Uh, FL Studio defaults to around four gigabytes of memory. And if we say each connection takes like, I don't know, megabyte of storage, then that's well over, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know how much storage it takes, probably around I don't know, um, eight bytes, I'm gonna guess. So, uh, very quickly, that'll overflow when I have like over, I don't know, 600,000 comparisons happening on my memory. So anyways, I had to default to using six, uh, which will give us a comparison of 200,000, but by rendering something out and then placing it back into that, I can work my way up by increments of 200,000. Uh, and that's just basically gonna make my life a little bit easier because I don't have to do a million at a time. All right, as the viewer, you've um, witnessed me ramble enough about this shit, so uh, why don't you just uh, look at the results as you've all been waiting for. So here we go. Uh, here are the results, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I just spent the last, um, I don't know, a couple hours of my life rendering out a bunch of these uh loops with um otts on them we can see uh we have no otts this one's on a mixer track with a hundred otts this one is a pre-comp version of nine thousand five hundred and fifty five otts so just shy of 10k this one is two hundred thousand otts and then from there up we go up by about an increment of two hundred thousand so we have two hundred thousand 400,000, 600,000, 800,000, and then our final just over uh, 1 million, 1 million 3,275 OTTs. This is the original loop. Now, 100 OTTs. Already sounding great it's it it's a weird um weird thing here so since ott is a multi-band compressor what i'm assuming is happening is there's a band split somewhere in the 2k range and then there's a band split somewhere in the 500 to 100 range and that's what's causing these kind of three areas to be separated the further down we go so say here with 9,000 OTTs, you can see that effect happening even more. So here's 200,000, and it's a very like noisy version of this. So, and now it's just like a very, very um, clear frequency right here. For some reason on the next one, it moves up to about 467, but here it looks like it's about 300 or 430. So when we go up to 400K here, you can hear that the signal gets a little bit clearer, or at least this tone that we see, and it was up to like 448, about. And then if we go up another one, it goes up a little bit more to around, yeah, like 460, 461, and then up another 200k. And then we, we get less of that noise, and you can see it's more peaky. 
right around 470 hertz at 1 million OTTs. It's just a very clear signal here. I'm gonna pitch this down so we can see the waveform. See, it's very, very sine wavy. Here, if we pitch it down a little bit more and then normalize it. Pitch this up. Yeah. It's uh, pretty much just a sine wave. But this is what's gonna happen to basically anything that you put a million OTTs on. It's gonna turn into this tone. It's the OTTification effect. I could be the first person to put a million OTTs on a sound. I don't know how many people have, have actually put the effort in to do this stupid shit. Hope you found this video enjoyable somewhat, uh, or if not enjoyable, maybe insightful. Um, but yeah, anyways, if you want to see more status content, make sure to hit that like button. Please hit the like button. I put a hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.